I am back with Moon in Partners 8th House Sinistry. I definitely hope that was gory enough for you. Creepy enough for you. Absolutely uncomfortable enough for you because this is exactly what you get when you have someone's moon falling in your eighth house. Yep, dealing with sinistry. Now, we talked about the sun here. For all of you guys that have not checked out the sun in the partner's eighth house video you can check that out we talked about the sun the sun really did have quite a bit of effect um that's similar to the moon because it's the sun but it's going into the eighth house and the eighth house still remains a very powerful house and it has the ability to dominate whatever falls inside of it including the sun but here we're talking about the moon and the moon, the person with the moon falling into the other person's eighth house really feels like the eighth house person knows them and knows them really well. They feel very comfortable with the eighth house person because they feel like the eighth house person is going to know exactly what they need what they want they're in sync with the eighth house person because the eighth house person allows the moon person to vent to express their emotions however there can be a bit of a an attachment or bond that forms here an emotional bond that forms from the moon person to the house person now the house person is going to feel rather exposed here as well the house person is going to feel like the moon person has some sort of insight into the way that um they work you know the the psychological subconscious mind of the house person is also brought to the forefront here so the eighth house person is going to feel like mm, i don't know if i'm so sure about what this is. I know that I'm feeling you. I know that you're stirring up some sort of emotions inside of me. Depending on where the house person is within their journey and their transformation process and the way that how they're equipped or if they are ready to handle the transformational changes that the moon person is bringing to them is how the house person is gonna respond and receive the moon person because the house person on a transform level, like a house person that did a lot of work on themselves and they know themselves, they're going to actually feel like welcoming the moon person in because they're going to feel bonded with the moon person. They're gonna feel intimate with the moon person and they're going to be willing to go there. Like on an intimate level, um, emotionally, even physically a lot of times, especially intimately, they're going to be willing to withstand the type of rawness that the moon person can bring out of them, okay? Um, the house person, not so much on an evolved level, could feel like the moon person is triggering some of their their the darker aspects of themselves some of their insecurities you know they're bringing up psychological stuff and if the house person has not effectively noticed these things within themselves or or has not worked on themselves or is not aware is unaware of themselves it can be very hard for them to feel comfortable with the moon person even though they're going to be connected with them in some way shape or form Okay. It's like 
going to some um uh, uh, like a carnival or something and there's a scary house there and you know that it's going to be scary but you just have to go in there anyways okay that type of feel and then you have those individuals that know that the haunted house is going to be scary and they're just like nah i'd rather not see what's in here okay this can be how the moon person can feel in associated with the house person almost like okay no i don't think i should go in here however the moon person is going to want the house person to see them in their most vulnerable um aspect and even like all of those hidden things and qualities about themselves that they have not worked out or that they want to feel free with um showing off or being they're going to want to be this in front of or around and in relation to the house person and some of it the house person is like no i don't want that like i don't want you being that in front of me because see the problem is is that it could be even on a sexual level if the moon person has some sort of sexual desires or fantasies or something like that they're going to feel like the house person should accept them for that and they're going to feel like okay i need to reveal these things these secrets about myself to you before i dive in because what if you don't want to accept this from me but the trick is they don't really usually require this from just people that they get involved with so yes they put the house person in a significant situation you know, and, and they give the house person a lot of power, even though the moon person has quite a bit of power too. I just feel like it depends on how well either one of them has worked on themselves and how well they know each other. A more scorpionic, because this, this type of relationship has a scorpionic tone to it, you know, because it's the eighth house. So Scorpio, heavy people with heavy Scorpio placements, they might really feel comfortable with their moon in someone's eighth house or someone's moon in their eighth house it's going to be something that they can be able to handle because it brings a sort of bond there that's unbreakable and is raw and is real and it's transformational but it's it's like well they see it as hey me and this house person we can work on these things with each other and this can create a very very close significant accepting of one another bond but where it can go wrong is if one person okay feels like the other person is trying to use the ability to emotionally affect the other in an abusive or misuse of power way if that makes any sense okay because here you see it, it could this could be a very powerful bond between two people very powerful but you also see to where it could be powerful in a negative way because if you take two people that has worked on themselves and they know who they are and they really stand strong in that they can be a powerful couple together making money and all sorts of things very strong bond even if it's not romantic there's a lot of sexual aspects here too like intimate sexual aspects you know but it's not in a from an egoic place um like maybe the sun would be here it is really from just like a raw emotional place it doesn't even has to necessarily be built just on sex alone it can be very emotional emotional sex is what i would refer to it as and you will get this aspect with the sun too it's very similar because it's falling in the eighth house but i feel like maybe with the sun in the eighth house it could be more on one person's side than the other um and it's easier it's hard to break apart from but it's easier to break apart from than the moon and because like whenever there's a breaking apart here i really feel like you remember the person in a situation for a long time and it keeps creeping up okay that's definitely there but if you have this this aspect with someone to where it's negatively affecting you have two 
powerful um, or two people come together in a very powerful way that benefits them in a not so good way because you have drug use here, sexual abuse here, violence, power um, control issues, and it's hard to get out of. So make sure if you're going to get involved with this type of sinistry and you find out about it, you, you have to keep it in a place to where you're, 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 it's, it's two people um, that are very much in control of themselves and they don't, because abuse is possible here, is what I'm saying. So, yes. These two, though, can also together be interested in occult, occult practices, things, the hidden things that other people may not know about. Um, and this is what makes them strong because they can bond over these things. They can bond over psychological aspects, healing through things like difficult situations that they experience and life experiences that they had that makes them brings them together definitely and uh, yeah so i'm gonna stop there because of course i can keep going i keep going about anything any placement any time anywhere okay but i'm gonna stop <laughs> and this has been Moon and Partners 8th House Sinistry. I'm Butterfly to Light. And you better subscribe to my channel because you know I will be back.